Hello everyone and, and peace of Christ to all. In this short video, <coughs> we are going to share with you some uh, something in the Quran. And uh, you know, what we will share required a little bit uh, to use our brain and think carefully. Uh, <coughs> in front of you, you have a list of my books and I made a book about Quran and science before uh, and many of you have it already. And the reason I made a, a, a book about Quran and science, a specific book, and actually even Deception of Allah, uh, have a big part of it speaking of science and the Quran, because Muslims, they speak about uh, Quran teach science, uh, Allah, he is uh, <clears throat> the source of science, etc., and how much scientific miracle in the Quran. So I made a, uh, my books uh, answer those uh, claims, which is absolutely false. And today we have a very simple question which is really important and I would like to share it with you in a short video. Uh, if we go in the Quran, chapter 103, verse one, uh, number 1. Uh, in this chapter, the Muslims, they have many, many translations. However, the word Asr in Arabic is very clear. It is afternoon. <coughs> Asr. You ask a Muslim how many prayer you have, he will say to you, one of them is the Asr prayer. You tell him what Asr prayer, he will say to you afternoon. All right. So the Asr is afternoon. And the question come to my mind, if Allah is God, how he swear by afternoon? You see, uh, time is something relative. It is not real as an example the, the afternoon itself if I live abroad of the earth out of the earth there is nothing is called Asr there is nothing is called afternoon actually if we live in the same earth if I live in the North Pole when the Asr will be when the afternoon will be you know in the North Pole sometimes the, the one night can go to up to three for four months so what afternoon? When other places have many, many afternoon in the North Pole, they do not even have one afternoon. This is how relative time is, which is which means it's not real. You know, uh, in, when 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 God speak to us about He created the heaven, He created the earth, the first day, the second day. This is to explain to us how things came in order. But time is relative. And for God, there's no time. For us, we have a time because we are affected by many things. And that is calculated as time for us. So when when the earth go around itself, it makes us see the sun set down, the sun appear, the sun goes, the sun come. And that will make a total of 40, 24 hours. However, in the old days, they don't measure it by hours. They measure it by, you know, sunset. Sun rays. When the sunset is over, the day is over. But if you live in a place where there is no sunset, then the day is not over yet. So the question is, if Allah is God, and He is taking an oath, you see when Allah He says, and this is again chapter 103 and verse number 1, I'm showing you many translation, when Allah He takes an oath by afternoon is that stupid or it is naive what afternoon what it does mean to say I take an oath by afternoon the Quran obviously or the author of the Quran is very confused about time and he think time is something created it is something physical this is why we see in different verse in the Quran, uh, Muhammad, he says, or supposedly Allah claim, that he is extended the shadow. Have you ever heard of somebody saying to us, he extended the shadow? How you can extend the shadow? And if you will, if you want, like if you will, he can fix the shadow. Which is which is very weird chapter 25 verse number 45 it says 
don't you see that how Allah he extended the shadow so Muhammad he think and obviously we know that he is the one who uh, uh, you know behind the Quran for sure there's other resource too but when God he says supposedly the one is talking here is God don't you see how he extended the shade I mean what what are you talking about what do you mean he extended the shade or the shadow there's nothing is it the shade the shade is not real <laughs> you, you know what I mean I'm not extending anything the shade is not real nobody extended the shade so obviously the one who wrote the Quran is very limited in his knowledge he's very naive and he look at the shade he's looking let us say he is sitting under the tree or behind the wall and then the shade was small and then it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and he think that it is Allah who extended the shade but I believe that all of you Muslims you know that this is very stupid statement because shade is not extended and actually there's nothing it's called shade it's just an eye reflection one area have more light than the other area as simple as that both of them they have light by the way both of them they have light but one of them is darker than the other one and usually this has happened because there is something stand in the front of the source of light and whatever behind that thing will make a shade especially if it's not a glass something solid like a tree or a wall or you or me so if I am more you know if I am working in the front of a flashlight I will have a long shade and the bend in the location of the flashlight so if the flashlight in the top of my head the shade is zero if the flashlight is behind me the flesh will the, 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 the shade will be long depend how, how how strong the light too it will make it appear more so it's very naive and very stupid when when this God he swear by the afternoon there's many questions we need to ask ourselves what is significant about 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 the, the afternoon I mean it's it's what afternoon we are talking about God the God say I swear by afternoon can I swear by six o'clock can I swear by eight o'clock can I swear by ten o'clock what kind of God he swear by time and he swear but what time afternoon which is not really exist same time he is speaking about extending the shade and he is not understanding that the shade is kind of a process of the time too it's like the earth is moving around itself and the source of light we have is either the moon or the sun and depend in the location between me and the light that shade will be and actually you can create your shade inside your house you do not need the light of sun or a moon actually right now as we speak everything around us have a shade did Muhammad ask himself why the shade in my room is fixed you see here he is saying if Allah he wanted he can fix the shade well I have the shade fixed because I have my light in one one side of my room so when the light hit my computer screen there's a there's a specific shade behind the screen and that will not change the reason for this shade is not is fixed already it's not a miracle I do not need God to make this miracle to happen because the light is fixed and the object is fixed so both of them are fixed therefore we have a fixed shade and that shade can be disappearing in a second just turn off the light if Allah is God God he created things and those things it doesn't make sense that he swear by them because God supporting he to swear by something great and nothing less than him 
So when Allah he swear by a fig as an example, I mean fig, that's a stupid fig. Okay, I swear by a, um, an onion. Well, why you why you swear by the fig? It doesn't make sense. I swear by olive. Why you swear by olive? And now today Allah he swear by afternoon. And Allah want to show us that how powerful he is. He said if he want he can fix the shade. You know what about we say to us I can fix the day, fix the time for you. So the sun will not move and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, that's a miracle. The shade, what shade? And claiming that he is the one who extended the shade, but yet he did not tell us how the shade come to exist. And then he continues saying that he is the one who made the night covering for you. But this is not a true too. Allah did not create a night, for night is not need to be created. Darkness is exist and no need to create night. It is nothing but the absence of the light. So there is no question that the God of Islam is so confused about the time. He thinks the time is created. He thinks the day is created. He thinks the night is created. You see, in the Bible it says that God created light and called it day. What what he called it? He created light and he called the light day. He did not say I created night. And he did not say I created day. He said I created light and that is day. So there's a huge difference between how the Quran understand the time and the differentiation between what is light and what is time and what is uh, uh, shadow or shade and how they are exist. As an example, if we go to different verse in the Quran, you will see the following. Different from the one Allah swearing by the afternoon. Okay. In chapter 21, verse number 33, it says, It is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon, and each one of them here, you know, here run in an orbit. It is he who created the day and the night and the and you know and the and the sun and the moon, and each one of them he swim in a boat. All right, how you can say that? How how such a thing happen? It and he it is who has created the night and the day and the sun and the moon each in an orbit of floating is that accurate now before i saw some muslims uh speaking about uh this verse they say oh uh i saw shabir ali actually shabir ali the liar he said the quran when he talk about this verse he's talking about that the sun and the moon they are swimming in air, uh, air uh, orbit not the day and the night i can get shabir ali busted in two seconds but you know this coward he will not debate me and he will never even get close same we saw from zakir naik same we saw from many many islamic uh, uh, people who claim to be scholars let me sh let me show you the reference hold on let me grab the reference so i sh i can show you how we can get them busted uh, I will go here. Ibn Kathir. I will put the screen back again just to open the website. Hold on. Okay, 533. You cannot expect any kind of uh, uh, honesty when you speak to Muslims. It's impossible. It's against their nature, you know. They don't do that. It's a, it's a, uh, it is how they are. Twenty-one, thirty-three. Sorry, twenty-one, thirty-three. 
And the funny, I'm seeing more and more videos, Muslims trying to get away from their prophet teaching in the hadith in order to see to save Islam. But that does not work, Muslims, because simply there's tons of verses in the Quran. It's horrible, it's stupid. And even if you say we believe in the Quran alone, how you can save yourself from the stupidity of the Quran? So what you will do tomorrow? You will say that uh, um, you don't believe in uh, in the Quran tomorrow too. All right. Here we go. This is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, which is going to get the Muslims busted when they lie to us about the interpretation of this verse. And I always remember, don't ever trust a Muslim saying to you a statement. It doesn't matter who is he. And the sun and the moon. The sun with its own light and its own path. Okay, path. And they are going in an orbit. Now, if we go a little bit up, you will see it's right here. And it is he who has created the night and the day, meaning the one with its darkness and stillness and the other with the light and the human and in, 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 uh, inter interaction sometime the one is longer while the other one is shorter now if we go in different verse because the Quran mentioned this in many places chapter 36 verse number 40 36 <coughs> Verse number 40. All right. Here in Nikathir, he explained it more. Read with me. And let us see how the Muslims, they can save themselves from this interpretation. This is about the verse that all of the, you know the, the uh, Allah created the day and the night and etc. And all of them they are swimming in orbit. They all float in an orbit, each in an orbit. Means the night, the day, the sun, the moon. All of them. No, oh, the screen is not showing. Hold on. Now it's showing. Sorry for that. They are all, let's start again, they all float in an orbit, meaning the night, the day, the sun, the moon, and all of them, they are floating. All of them. All of them who? The night, the day, the sun, the moon. This is why the verse says, وكلون, which means, and each one of them is a floating. So it's so clear that the Quran is speak about the night and the day as an object. This is why we see Allah is swearing by afternoon. When Allah He says the day and the night they are floating, that means they are the same physical, the same. He's he, he's he's distant them with who? He is distant them, or with what? He is distant them with the day and the night. If you read with me here, you will see. Means, the night, the day the sun the moon so we have here two physical object one is the sun and one is the moon and yet yet muhammad in his quran claiming that all of those four the night the day the sun the moon they are floating so the reason for the night to come for the night is something physical real and the reason for the day to come because the day is a physical and real. And Muhammad is making differentiation between the sun and the day and the night and the moon. He thinks that the, the moon is a, a, like, a, let's say, uh, appear only, uh, or let us say, come in a certain time. But the moon, the fact, it, it's, it can be located at the daytime. Who said the moon is not exist in the daytime? You know what I mean? Muhammad, he think, look, if you read with me here, clearly he is saying, it's not for the sun to overtake the moon, but this is stupid. 
the sun and the moon they can be in the same time the same the same hour together in the space show i'm saying from our point of view but allah is saying that the sun and the moon they are not allowed to be in the same time and the reason Muhammad is saying that because he is a foolish man he cannot see the moon when the day it's it is there so he thinks the moon is not there but the moon is there it doesn't matter if you can see it or not as an example always we uh, one of the example of, of, of the moon uh, exist in the same time with the with the Sun is an eclipse they line up in the same time that we have an eclipse as simple as that So the Quran obviously is made by a foolish man who cannot have a little education about the movement of the the stars and the planet around us, and he think that those are like there's a there's certain thing come only at night and there's things th certain things come only in the time. So the sun and the moon they cannot meet. Same time he says the following: Nor does the night overstrip the day. That's stupid too. Why? Because the night is overstripping the day always the major space on the universe is a night is a darkness when the light of the sun which is a star hitting a side of the earth that side is lighted by the the, the daylight but is the, the is the night taken over yes it's always taken over this guy is a crazy And even even that can happen that during the daytime we can have darkness and again is same as the eclipse as an example just last month in USA we have a full eclipse in certain areas in USA total darkness in the middle of the day so yes the night can outstrip the day and generally speaking, always the night is outstripping the day. But Muhammad, he think that the sun come in a time, that is the daytime, and the moon come in a time, and that is the night time. And it's not to the night to outstrip the day, because the night come as a physical object in a certain time, and the day come in a, as a physical object in a certain time. This is why here he's saying, well, they all float, each in an orbit, means night day sun moon all of them they are floating i.e revolving in their orbits and this is the view of ibn abbas ikrama etc and those are the big deal of islam so it's very funny when muslims they try to get away by saying i am quran only I am not a hadith. I'm not going to follow the hadith because they notice the hadith is a disaster. So lately you see more and more Muslims saying, I am Quran only. But Abdul, if you are Quran only, do you see how stupid the Quran you have? What you would do with this Quran now? Tomorrow you will say you are not Quran only no more. So what you will be? Uh, yellow pages only? Where this will end? They are trying to run away from the stupidity of the Quran. In the beginning, stupidity of the hadith by saying we are Quran only, but this is endless. It doesn't matter where you go, you will find that this is endless and you cannot run away from the truth. This is, a, I wanted to make it a, not a long video. Please, guys, download it. I made a video before this one, and I made a video before this one. Please follow all of them. I'm trying to make as many as I can videos sh uh, shorter so you guys can download them easy and share them with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new in our channel. And today we will have again a live podcast at 4.30 p.m. But I might do between a podcast. You never know. You know, I take a break from writing my books. And send, And if I feel like I have an idea of, in my head to speak about, I do live podcast. With this, I want to say God bless you all and see you soon again. Thank you.